chick from CNN? I don't know. I don't watch CNN. Veronica something. Veronica Vaughn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I I'll wonder go. how many people are going to get that reference. Veronica Vaughn. <laughs> not, not enough. <laughs> Do you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Not a clue. That's what I thought. Not a clue. Uh, Alright, welcome to After the Shot, episode one. We are going to kick it off as we always will. Tasting a bourbon, and today it is 1792 single barrel. Um, what who barrel? Specs barrel. This is a specs barrel. Specs, specs barrel. We've yeah. obviously drank it. Well, I've obviously we? I've <laughs> obviously drank it a little bit, and it's good. But we're just gonna pour ourselves a glass and kind of review it, and give you guys what we think about it. See if you want to do. If you can find it, that is. Uh, if you would like to uh, purchase. Pretty good. So. No ice in his glass. I know. It's the first. He's growing up. So I figured I'd try to grow up. So, And I still can't smell from the vid, so this is purely for show. <laughs> smells like air. Smells I don't know like what does it air. smell like to you. Let's see. Uh, it's a little floral. It smells good. Okay, so David is pretty good at the whole bourbon thing. I'm not so much good at the bourbon thing, so when he says floral, he, he I don't know what that means, so he's going to have to explain it to all of um, us. It's going to have... Uh, what are you spilling on my glass? Did I spill? I'm sorry. Glass. <clears throat> it's also got, obviously, a little vanilla and caramel. It's kind of part of 17's makeup. They're usually a little vanilla forward. All of them? No, not all of them, but the, all the single barrels that I've had from them, there's less spice than like the small batch. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I think my taste is still jacked up from COVID, like I told you, because because you taste Nyquil the other day when you drank this. Yeah, when, yeah, I tasted it the other all night right, and it was grapey. Let me see the grape Nyquil. Yeah. It's a little fruity. Yeah. Thank you. But it's not overbearing. No, it's good still. I'm just saying, I've never tasted the berries. Like, you think they're putting berries in this bad boy? Oh, uh, no. All these things you get are out of the mash bill a little bit. But really, it's, it's the barrels. Hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. And it's not bad and neat. No, it's really good. I, it could use a cube of ice. A cube? A singular cube of ice. For those of us... Like a giant ice cube? For those of you <laughs> joining us from YouTube, this is new, and it's gorgeous, and I made it, so you're welcome. But it was David's idea. It's a tabletop from the 1940s, is what it seems like. Probably in David's first apartment. You know, actually, no. <laughs> wasn't in the apartment, but my wife did pick this table up from a... A neighbor who moved out of uh, of our subdivision, and they were really old, so maybe 1940s. I mean, it's pretty. They were old people. The best part about it is, uh, we engraved it with our logo, the new logo that you all know and love now, because nobody's told me that, but I just know it's true in your heart. <laughs> because I love it. Um, the best part is we sanded this whole bad boy down and found a stain that was the exact same color somehow. I don't know how that even works, but luck. But it works for now. A little serving tray for for our videos. Yeah. So oh yeah. Okay. So after the shot is gonna be one of those um we're gonna try to make it a podcast regularly. We'll see how well that goes with both of us. Well, David full time jobbing it and me full time vacationing it but 
<laughs> We're going to see how well it goes. This this was David's idea after the shot. It's kind of got a little play on words for shot of um, arrow and shot of whiskey, so it's pretty good. Every, go. every episode we'll start out by reviewing a bourbon, telling you what we think about it, and Maybe we should give it a rating. I like giving it a rating out of ten because we've had a lot of bourbons, but they haven't had a lot of bourbons. So we'll give it a, we'll give it a bur- we'll give it a rating. Maybe tell you how much it costs. That way you guys know, and then um, and then go from there. And then after that, we may have a topic in mind. We may not. We may just sit here and talk. Or why is my dog covered in grass? Um, today's going to be one of those pilot episodes where we're just probably just going to talk about some stuff. So this is going to be like, watching this, you're going to be like, I'm never watching this again? Yeah. Bear with us. Yeah, bear with we'll, us. We'll, we'll get a routine going. The next episode of Knocked Up will come from South Texas with a lot of pretty deer and maybe even feature, for those of us, for those of you joining us on YouTube, a picture of David's big old deer that he's going to put down. We'll see. We'll so. see what we can make happen. Anyway, I don't remember how much this was. How much was it? Uh, it was like just over forty, forty-two, forty-three dollars, I think. Um, we did wait in line for it. Yeah. That's, I don't. I don't understand it, but that's David's thing. That's what you do for bourbons that they don't have a whole lot of. I'd like to know for the people that don't live in Texas that watch us, which is probably zero people right now, but maybe in the future more people, if they wait in line for bourbon. Well, a lot of states don't allocate the bourbon. And it's not controlled. So no, like if you go to Georgia, you can walk in and find any of the bourbons we're standing in line for on the shelf at the grocery store or in CVS. I'd rather fly to Georgia than well, stand in line. Book us a flight, <laughs> rent us a car to drive back because we're coming back with a lot of bourbon. Because <laughs> if I'm going for the weekend, that's all we're doing is driving around looking for bourbon. Um, but so yeah, it's forty three bucks. Forty three, forty five bucks, something like that. You're right at uh, right under fifty percent here. Um, 98.6 proof. You know, if I was to rate this, it's hard for me because I've had better single barrels than this from them. This one's not bad. Uh, it's just not as smooth as some of the other ones. I mean, what's our scale going to be? You out of 10. 10? You give it and then I'll give it and then it'll uh, be out of 20. Is that, I mean, that makes sense, right? Well, no, I mean, we just, we'll have differencing, or difference of opinion is all we'll have. No, but as a united front, we will present a... a 20 scale. Something nobody's ever seen before. That's what we do here at Knocked Up. I mean, you could just divide it by two, but then you might have 0. .5s. I'm going to give it oh, a so six. Oh, you want to give it an average. I'm going to give it a six out of ten. It's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. I can I can do a six out of ten. I don't think I can do a, a seven, though. Yeah, it wasn't... It wasn't I've got a couple other bourbons that you'll see in later episodes in my mind that I'm like, that's probably an eight, and this was not close no. to that. And of course, you know, we haven't tasted them all, so rankings could change over time. So really, we're doing the show for us, not you, so we can taste them all. This is just for you. We're doing it so he can taste them all. I do this all the time. <laughs> Yeah, maybe one day this this will be a, a wall of bourbon behind us. It'll be kind of cool. That day will come. But that yeah. day will come. As soon as we flip it around and we go over there and we hang a shelf, we'll put some bourbon up. Yeah. Won't be at this house. <laughs> Not so, the wall. So, 45 bucks, good. Wait in line, 6 out of 10, 1792 single barrel. That's what we're going with. Yeah. Florally, vanilla, caramel smells. And on the nose, they call it on the nose. On the nose, yeah. they say. And yeah. then berry. And at the palate. And berry. See, I don't get as much berry as you do. Well, I, I mean, like it's gone now after my fifth sip, but like the initial first couple. Yeah. You know, this, the reason I've had better single barrels, this drink's hotter than I expect it to. At 40, Explain hotter. 49.3. Um, the... Um, the ethanol in it, the alcohol, is forward on mm-hmm. the very the very first sip. Are you right. getting that? Yeah. And so it kind of burns a little, but it, it dissipates. And, you know, you're left with, a, I think, a kind of a subdued caramel flavor. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm with you. A little sweetness on the end. Yep. But it's good. So try it out if you feel like waiting in line, or if you're in Georgia, apparently, just go pick up a bottle and let us know what you think. <laughs> 
You might be hard pressed to get Specs single barrel, but um, or their pick of the single barrel. But we've had two other single barrels at different time frames. They were definitely different. Um, a little smoother than this one, a little less of that heat. They're good. 1792 puts out great products. So. Mm -hmm. I like the um, what is the one that I like? The foolproof. Foolproof. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to foolproof in another episode because that one's good. Yeah. So. I think that does it for the 1792. What's the next? What's the next one gonna be? That's up to you. What's well, gonna be? It's gonna be at the hunting. We're gonna be hunting. So what do you? What are we taking? We don't think we'll sneak one in before the hunt. If we practice next week. I mean, we could we could run another one. We might. We might not. I haven't decided. We on might the run hunt. episode two on on the next day that we do this. The next day that we shoot. We yeah. just got done shooting. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. He doesn't have us. No, Justin no. underscore Canada. It's all the knocked up stuff. You can see a shoot from today. So check it out. Yes. But anyway, back to my question. Oh. Uh, you we're just bought that one today. We're taking a celebratory bottle of EH Taylor Small Batch. Mm. That's, That's going to be a good episode. You're going to want to tune in for that one. That's when the big boy goes down. But uh, past that on our, our <laughs> other evening drinks, I haven't decided yet what bottle to take. But uh, we'll have a few different ones to try. I'm probably going to take Knob. It's a good daily. Yeah. Go to. Nine year. Yeah. I think I like that one more than this one. Yeah. I'd, I mean, if I was going to pour between the two, I'd pour the... Knob's probably a seven. Like, it's just above this. Compared to this bottle, yeah. yeah. Now, the other But you two didn't singles, hear that because we'll review that in another episode. Now, the other two singles that we had, I would put them in a seven, seven point five. Of 17? Yeah, it's just this one's... This particular the one that we barrel. split that was a million dollars? was it a million dollars. This is this when you were a rookie and we spent way too much money on yes. our bottles. <laughs> Why are we talking about that? <laughs> yes. Well, you're not a rookie anymore. It's like that, you graduated. Yeah, that bottle was good. I'd give that bottle a seven. I don't remember that bottle. Right. Child over here. I yeah, can't remember okay. the bourbons. I'll well, educate I mean, him. What? Yeah. What? I can't remember the bourbons. It's okay. Yeah. You remember how much your arrow weighs? No. 460 grains. Why the hell do I care about that? Exactly. See, I it's have my part and you have your part. It's going to fly through the <laughs> air. I do my part and you do your part. All right. Deal. Deal. Mm. You drink it faster than me, too. I've had more experience. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yep. Oh, we're going hunting next week. Good. Can't wait. Whitetail hunting. David has decided that this year he's going to take a big old horned animal. That is the goal. I would like to have a nice whitetail shoulder mount. Everything I have right now is European, which I like the European look. I haven't shot anything that I felt like investing that kind of money on. Sure. Um, we'll be back at LJ Blessings there's a few right. videos on YouTube if you follow us um, of those this this video of LJ Blessings will be a lot better though because we've decided to invest a lot more manpower and editing time into the videos or at least I have on the editing side yeah so we're gonna we're gonna put out something cool I think we're gonna get a lot of good footage and um I'm not. I'm. I'm a little too cheap to buy the horn this year. Sorry, Jim. But uh, maybe we should have Jim on one. Could you imagine Jim? Oh, I think we should introduce them to Jim. Oh my God! Just so you Jim. know, all you're going to see him drink is Woodford, which there's nothing wrong with that. Woodford bourbon. There'll is, be an episode on Woodford. Woodford. Woodford is a good bourbon. I tried to get him into some other things, and when you see him, you'll understand. That's Jim. Yeah, I That's think. We, Jim. I think we should do an after the shot with Jim. Yeah. That would be fun. When he makes up his mind, his mind is made up. Yeah. Anyway, I couldn't give Jim any cash money this year. But we're going to get some females on the ground, fill the freezer, make Mama happy. I think we're good for uh, up to five pointers. That's what you told five? Me. Yep. Maybe I will get some horn on the ground. Yep. yep. Make a little hat rack. Yep. It'd be cool if you could find that one deer that had five on this side and one on this side. <laughs> because I saw this really sweet mount where... Well, that's six. I can't do that. That's right. I got you around for a reason. 
Jesus. Let's yeah, we're not going to be in the blind with you. Uh, I'm going for more than Right, five. but if you're shooting your doe and you decide that... Well, touche. So, four on this side. David's on buying side. two deer. <laughs> he just didn't know the second one was going to be a lot less expensive. <laughs> oh, no. But but here, that's a 200-inch deer anyway. <laughs> so, four on this side and one on this side because there's a sweet mount I saw where it's like half a skull in a table. So you only see the one half of it. And it must have been for this reason. Like, yeah, but explain that to me. How's it? Like, like they, how's it? They, they, you know, cut the skull, mm -hmm. and then they use that clear epoxy. How'd they cut the skull? In between the antlers, or like in between the? Uh, it was kind of. It was. You could see like part of this eye. You know. Oh, so like so it's like they, so Almost. It was a little more than that. Oh. So it was like shaved. So it was like laying on the table, and as if it was in the dirt, and you didn't see the rest of it. It was pretty sweet. What the looking. table look like? Yeah, it was a rustic, um, more of a me. rustic type country style table. I mean, you could do it. Centerpiece. It was an end table. Right, it but it was, a, a, it was a centerpiece. It was off to the side because he had a lamp. Oh, okay. It was pretty sweet looking though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm. That must be pretty cool to do in acrylic. Like if you shot a deer that you were like, oh, it's a little six point, you didn't want to fully euro him. Mm -hmm. You could do that, but not cut the skull at all. Mm -hmm. But just run the table right down the middle of his face and then at like a 45, so the half the skull is underneath, underneath and you can see it. You know, women would like that because that's a place to hang their purse. I guess we're making a bar table. Yeah. You gotta make it high so you can hang your purse. Mm -hmm. You see like this, hang your purse. Speaking of maybe making things, are we gonna make your cabinet? Yes. But, um, David got, needs a cabinet for all his bourbon. I need a, I need a shelf because I have two. That's a long story, okay? Because David um, has an upper cabinet full of bourbon, then he needs a I've pretty got, one done that I can build. I've got two very large upper cabinets full of bourbon, and now I'm starting again, which I consolidated because I was getting in trouble by my very gracious wife, who allows me to buy a lot of bourbon. We're going to use the word is. allows. Like but anyways, no, seriously. She she knows I have a bourbon habit, and so I consolidated it because... I need to change the word habit. Let's, I'm going to pause you. Bourbon... Affection? Sounds, I like affection. A yeah. bourbon affection. I have a bourbon affection. Yeah, habit sounds bad. Well, like it's something bad for you. <laughs> I'd rather have this habit than like smoking, like doing crack. I will give you that. Yeah. yeah. So it's not yeah, a habit. I, Jesus. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I've got, Bourbon um, section. I'm going to get my hands on two base cabinets that are pretty nice with some drawers. Oh, you are? That we're going to be able to probably modify and put some nice legs on and maybe do a open uppers. I'm pretty excited about it. You're making me work on the fly because we're live on the podcast because I did not heard any of this yet. So? <laughs> I mean, I don't understand the problem. I have like 36 inch cabinets? It's going to be a big boy. Two forty eighters. Dave, so we're gonna make two of them because his his is gonna grow. No. Yeah. That's... Mine is gonna be ours. This needs to be in one spot. Make it just like a huge eight foot wide. Well, then we're good to go. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna go here one day. It'd be the backdrop and knocked up after yeah. the shot. Okay. So it needs to. So be... we could we could separate them with a nice little spot. To... Misty. Put a little Misty. mini fridge or something in for water because eventually, you know, you'll need to cleanse your palate at some point. Yeah. Sorry, Misty's my dog. She was chewing on a tennis ball. And before yeah. I sound like eating a super a dick, ball. yeah, thank you. She was eating a tennis ball, not chewing on it. So. Yeah, eating. Anyway. So my German Shepherd, he liked to swim. We had a pool in the backyard when I was a kid. I was teens, right? And he had a basketball that he popped. And I would throw it in the pool and it would go down. And he would actually dive down. Well, I know, a lot of people are saying, really? He would dive underwater and swim to the bottom. A German Shepherd to get this ball. But he would do exactly that. He would then chew, chew on it. I mean, the How's ball, the ball going to the bottom of the pool? Because it was flattened and he had chewed a hole in it like oh, this. So it would, well, I got you, Yeah, I got you. it would start to sink. So, yeah, I'd throw it in and he'd look at me and he'd, he'd wait for the command. And I'd let it get about halfway there and I'd pull the trigger and... He loved every minute of it. But it did tear, tear up his tummy a little bit. Interesting. Oh, 
I feel like I should also point out, um, not that we have millions of viewers, but ECU, not a sponsor. It's where my wife played soccer at in college, so just ignore this. This has nothing to do with us. Not a sponsor. Could be. It should be. So so should Nike. Yes. So the should next. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Apple. So should whoever made this in the 1940s. <laughs> just pick one. I don't care who it is. The next episode of Knocked Up, we're getting some apparel made. Yes. I'm super pumped about. Yes. So we got long sleeve hoodies, kind of lightweight, like fishing garb. Um, super lightweight because we hunt mostly in Texas and it's hot. So if it does get cold, we throw a thermal on and we can throw that on top. It's got the Knocked Up Outdoors logo right across the front, but you'll see those on the next episode of After the Shot. Or depending on when this comes out in the next episode of Just Knocked Up and our hunt at LJ Blessings. So, got that coming out. You have to let us know what you think about it. We will be pulling away from the bow too a little later in the year. We got a crane hunt coming up. That's going to be... I did because... You cut me off. Yeah, I cut him off. Sorry, I don't. I accidentally hit my watch. and He forgot. He's fancy. He has all the things. All the things that do the things. Yeah. I have bourbon. Those things make me do other things. Yeah. Hey, yeah, let's buy that. Um, so, anyway, yeah, continue. Crane Hunt. Yep, Crane Hunt. Um, that's going to be Lubbock-ish. Yeah, somewhere up there. Yeah. I'm uh, going with a few friends. Should be a great time. Uh, told the outfitters really uh, did a spectacular job for this guy last year. So, don't remember their name. You will definitely get it when the time comes. But um, we're real excited about it. Never hunted crane before, but hear that it's tasty. What did they say? What Ribeye of the sky. Yeah, yeah. Your boy. Your bestie. Yeah. My roommate right now, um, Trevor, he'll make an appearance in the crane hunt video. Um, maybe a knocked up after the shot video one of these days. Not uh, drinking this moonshine, though. I'm not doing it. It was good. No. We'll get there in a minute. Let me finish what I was thinking. No. Um, but yeah, he, he's had Ribeye of the sky before, and he said it was really good, so we'll see. We'll see about that. And then, what else after the crane hunt? We're hoping for another whitetail white hunt. Hoping for another whitetail hunt. Yeah, we're, we're still in the works. Maybe a that. black buck. It's quite possible. <laughs> I forgot about that. Maybe a black buck. Oh, my God. Not for me, but for David. If this is a theme here, David likes the bourbon and spend all the money on the deers. And I just no. like to hunt and clean up everybody's crap. And make videos. I was supposed to get the black buck last year. Well, we were supposed to also go on a bear hunt this year. No, that was thrown on me in like six minutes. Oh and <laughs> I had to make a decision. The decision was no. But, um, for all of you that do live in Texas, you do understand Snowmageddon. For those of you around the country that might be watching, you probably heard we had some record snowfall in February and that screwed up my black buck hunt. It also screwed up our axis hunt. It did, because... It put us hunting yeah. in a different location. It wasn't worth the shit. Yeah, yeah. We need to we need to talk about that. Maybe that's after the shot episode too. I'm not ready. To, I don't. Yeah, you're I'm not go, ready to get into. Why that. are you putting me into a negative mood? I'm, I'm not. not right. I mean, I'm not. But if you want to watch those videos, they are on YouTube. The Axis Hunt Part One and Part Two. Spoiler alert: We don't get anything, but they are decent videos, and you get to see a lot of cool animals. So we did some hunting. We just did not do any killing. That's true. But we didn't have a whole lot of help from yeah. the guide. That's a whole other episode. We'll get there. Yeah. Of reviews. You'll see a flash of the sticker, too, when we get to that point. And you, you'll yeah, understand. The sticker's that a point. good one. Yeah. We should. We should do a, uh, the. That's good. We should do a review of outfitters that we go to. Like we have, we have that outfitter. I don't want to spoil it. LJ Blessings, which will obviously be a great review, but the people at home will want to know and may give Jim some more traffic, which is yep. good for us because he's our friend. Yep. And then the Crane Hunt Guide, we'll, yep. we'll give him. And then maybe even the second Whitetail in December. Yep. If that ranch is worth anything, we can review that one. Yep. But anyway, and then probably up to Arkansas for January and February to maybe try to get another whitetail. That one's going to be a lot more strenuous. It'll be a spot and stock through the mountains. It's going to be real hunting. Yeah. We're, we're, we're uh, Jim's is 
Not that it's not hunting. Jim's is hunting. But it's... It's guaranteed hunting. We'll put it that way. Yeah. For those, I mean, you're not watching this this YouTube channel or podcast because you don't enjoy hunting, so you understand what I mean when I say guaranteed hunting. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta you gotta mess up quite a bit to not yeah. not go home with me. Your name has games. to be Kyle Kick. I wasn't gonna go there. <laughs> I really wasn't. I oh, get yeah. so bad. I shouldn't. I shouldn't mess with Kyle. Man. He can He's not even here to defend himself. You I can. Love you, Kyle. you can bow hunt and pistol hunt at the same time. <laughs> It's okay, <coughs> but retrieve your deer. Oh, Kyle, we love you, and we're mad at you. You're not going this year. Yeah, Kyle. But we got some new faces that are going to come onto the knocked up scene this year. Yeah, I think some you'll see for a while. I think, I Bubba, think one of these boys is dedicated. You are pounding these 17s. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah. We can switch to the small batch. Because I can honestly I tell you right now, you don't have any small batch up there? That's not a bottle. Oh, yeah, I guess I do. I can honestly tell you right now, I prefer small batch over that barrel. Really? Yeah. Which should say a lot of, to anybody who drinks 1792. And I don't want to knock this because it's good, but, you know, when I look at these kind of bottles, I think special occasions. And as Justin has eloquently pointed out, I drink way too fast. So, it's probably time to switch over to some of the, uh, what we call daily drinkers. Yeah. 1792. Knob Creek. Uh, Buffalo Trace. Those are all three of my daily drinkers. Yeah, I, I try to find ones. the big bottles every chance I get because I'll blow through them pretty quick. Yeah. Well, we gotta save that. What? The small batch. For what? a whole another episode. It's a whole another flavor palette. Hit. Fucking stop and start. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That was a that was a 15 minute podcast. That's a pretty damn long time to listen to two dumbasses talk about shit they don't know. I mean, yeah, but that's the whole point of this. Okay. Well, we can keep going. You don't have to tell anybody. No, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried would about it. Would you like it. a little more? One, yeah, I would like one some more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me when. Just give me about a shot after the shot. There you go. Thank you. A little heavy, but it'll be alright. Well, you gave me a man shot. Oh. Yeah. I'm excited for Jim's, man. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah, we're going to see some good friends. Uh, have a good time. Hopefully Dorcas makes an appearance. Yep, Jim's uh, wife. Jim's better half is how I'd put it. Yeah, that's probably 100% correct. So, I'm just ready to get out in the wilderness. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm glad it got as cold as it's gotten. Yeah, it's for our hunt. Nice. It's but really I'm nice. worried now that we're not going to see any color. Um, this is South Texas, so you got a lot of sage and mountain laurel, oh, and it's usually. I mean, if it's still warm enough and the freeze hadn't hit yet, I mean, you just see purple and blue for days it's gorgeous yeah that's true i don't think it's gonna be that cold i think it's gonna i mean it's gonna be like 45 at, at the night yeah. the night apparently it's a noun the night the night like it's got a title yeah night at night time yeah no but, i don't th- i don't think this fruit froze yet yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm just excited to hunt hopefully Been practicing uh, all year for this yeah Hopefully, besides white tails, we see uh, possibly some javelina. Bobcatsers. Bobcats would be nice. And um, mm. some Russian boars. Not saying you're going to see a Russian boar go down because, you know, that's hit or miss with Jim. But we definitely will probably get a little footage of some fun with them. Yeah. Um, well, it depends on how much uh, Woodford Jim has on the After the Shot episode three. Yeah. And if this be. Oh, Bubba. This is not be real. Okay, go on. Yeah. Um, but we do have some newbies who don't understand the, the Russian boars in uh, in this ranch. Yeah. So it'll, it'll be entertaining. It'll be fun. We've got a whole new set of, I mean, really a whole new set of faces going with us this year. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that's just, uh, there's just Your four of us. going with us. Yeah, Jason is returning. That'll be Josh. You. No, Josh is out. Yeah. And Thalus. 
Phelous. I always forget about Phelous. I love you, Phelous. It's not that you're forgettable. You're just no, not you're here. Just, yeah, you're not here. He sees you once a year. Not twice, twice a year. Twice a year this year. Yeah, he's Maybe going three on crane times. Hunt. Maybe three times. We'll have to set something up. Yeah, he's coming to the crane hunt. One of these days, we're going to switch him over to actually shooting a man's weapon. I mean, I, I've talked to him about it. <laughs> I think it's going to be difficult at this point. So no. I'm here and he he's there. It. He does, but he's got nobody to talk to about it. What? I mean, all we could do. Well, a phone call away. We happen to work at the same company and have similar bosses. So I could push that person into pushing him into while well, I'm pushing him into. Yeah. So we could probably try that. I mean, we're just a FaceTime away. FaceTimes? Dude, I swear, if this B. I would love to go to Austin. There's Why? Austin sucks. Just to help him get outfitted and shoot for the weekend and maybe go out to one of the breweries. Or We're not going to go to still Austin because I can tell you I'm never drinking that shit again. But, um... <laughs> you know? There's a story there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. You don't remember that story? No. I don't remember any of your stories. You were there. You provoked the still Austin. We we're about? on a particular hunt, and there was a particular bourbon that goes unnamed that I've already mentioned. And you go, hey, I wonder if this is any good. And I looked at the back of the bottle, and I said, I'm not drinking that shit. And you go, why? I go, because it's only two years old. Now, don't take offense. There are some two-year-old bourbons out there that what are good. Th- what, what was this? And I, we poured a drink, and then I took a sip and spit it back in the glass while you laugh. And you go, well, I'm not going to drink it then. I go, oh, no, you got to drink it. When did we buy this? We didn't buy it. It was at a particular outfitter. Oh. And they had some. They had a bar there. And what was it? Do you remember? Still Austin. Still, yeah. It was garbage. 100% garbage. So, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Don't want a sponsor. Let's just put it. (laughs) No. If we haven't been clear, we do not like your product. <laughs> God, maybe some other of your product, but that was... Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what else they make. Call us in 10 years. <laughs> when what? We have no taste when buds left? When they've aged some bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean, seven more years. Knob Creek's if, nine. If you're not... Uh, I don't want to get into that. Because I probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, I understand you want to have your own blend. But if you're not ready, source the shit like everybody else does from MGB and just be done with it. Build a label. Build a brand. Done. Then when you make the change and your stuff's not as good, they're already hooked. (laughs) Marketing 101, kids. (laughs) Why do you think people still buy Jack Daniels that are 50 years old? Because they drank it since they were 16. There's no reason to drink Jack Daniels. Could be a sponsor. <laughs> I don't like Tennessee whiskey all that much, as you can tell. Uh, we did try the, um, which one did you have? The single barrel Jack Daniels? Yeah. We can talk about that because we're never going to yeah, bring that up. Yeah, we're going to try that, no. Not, not any better than the regular, regular Jack Daniels. I disagree. It was better than OG Jack Daniels, but it was not good. It's not good. Two out of ten. See, I'm thinking... Mm. No, no, because regular Jack Daniels would be a one out of ten. Wouldn't it be under ten? I mean, okay. I feel like there's negative numbers in that play into no. this. No, zero would be water. Hmm. If we're going to go out... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink water over Jack Daniels every day. <laughs> Why do you got to make a good point when I'm trying to do a scale? Hey, I need some water in my Coke, please. <laughs> yeah, I need some watered down Coke. Speaking of, uh, we didn't go back to it, but the moonshine was actually really good. No. It was good, man. No. My roommate made moonshine. You. It yeah. was good. It's he not put, about the moonshine. He, it's about the pot he used to okay. make the moonshine. Yeah, so... The moonshine had a bunch of different stuff in it. I don't know what he made. And when I say moonshine, it was apple cider and I think vodka, spice rum, Everclear. I don't know, boiled it up. And it's like apple cider is what it tastes like. Um, 
but he needed a pot big enough to boil it in. So and we, we weren't get, here. Yeah, I wasn't here. He he called me and said, "Hey, I need a pot, uh, a pot big enough to boil this in." And I said, "Okay, there's a we got a cast iron." like a lodge pot that I'll fry like chicken fried venison in and stuff like that jambalaya I said yeah it's under the cabinet I said okay and we get home and there's a big stainless steel pot sitting on the stove and he's stirring it up <laughs> and uh, I look at him I was like where'd you get that pot <laughs> and he said Jess my wife god love her Jess got it for me from the shed I said okay oh, no. I said I hope you cleaned it he said well Oh yeah, I mean, I scrubbed it inside and out. It's pretty dirty. It's in the shed. And I was like, "Yeah, you want to know why there was a kitchenware in the shed?" He was like, "What?" I said, "That's where we boil all our deadheads to get our euros." <laughs> so we call it deer cider. Deer cider. Deer cider. You've named it. Yeah, deer cider. Um, and I'm talking a bunch of smack about it, but there were six people that tried it. And I, I mean, for a apple cider, it was delicious. It really was, man. Heat it up. Heat it up. I mean, on a cold winter's night, I enjoyed it. Good. I definitely got CWD from it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, however long that takes, knocked up will just be me. Yeah. Because my boy over here is yeah. going to die. Going to die. No, I'm not going to die. It was good. It was very good. And you're going to try it. It's not going to be a whole episode, I'm not but you're going to try it. I'm not, no. You're such a baby. I'm drinking whiskey neat for you. Okay, I'll try it. Right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> next episode. I'm going to have it with it. Well, if we do it, if we do it uh, next week when we shoot, then yeah. Next, 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 next episode. So there's going to be some episodes in June. How many nights are we there? Wednesday night? Thursday night? Friday night? Saturday night? Yeah. We got... You got... Whew, you got a lot of episodes coming over the next week. Yep. This one, pilot. And then maybe one next week before we leave, depending on how we're feeling about it and if we're busy. And then... I don't know that we'll do one every night. I just labeled out for the, uh, the audience. Every night. Why would we not do one every night? You're going to bring four different bourbons over? I mean, that's the whole point of this podcast. Is this is first, and then we talk about hunting. You've seen my cabinet. Yeah, I've seen your cabinet. Okay. We got some stuff to talk about. Yeah, we do. That we do. See, what I need to happen is we got to catch up on the cabinet. Oh, the reason. Cab- we, we gotta go back to the cabinet. We haven't even finished I... talking about half our subjects. Well, that's a podcast, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> um, real quick, though, we gotta catch up on what I got so that we can buy some new stuff. I gotta have a reason to buy new stuff. We need to catch up on what we got. I got a lot of bourbons we need to talk about. Yeah, but the cabinet is big. I understand. But what? I need to. You were relating it to stuff. the cabinet. No. Yeah. It's not that big. My cabinet's not as big as what the cabinet's going to be. That's what I'm talking but about. The cabinet's going to get. The cabinet's going to be big. Are we going to backlight it? We're going to do everything. I'm kind of feeling like. I think we should put an ice maker in it. Uh, no. <laughs> not everyone. For when the women come over? Yeah, me. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. We, we can do an ice maker. We'll, we'll separate the two bottoms for an ice maker. What are you gonna put in the middle, up top, or in you the, just have lowers? I just got lowers. We got so a build, build the upper, the which is yeah. fine because we'll do glass shelves and backlit. I really want to kind of do mirrors too behind it. Really? You don't like it? I think it'll look weird. I don't like it. Okay. You don't it's to too it. trashy bar to me. I'm looking for a little trash in my life. Yeah. Well. Um. Okay. No, I get it. Maybe just a mirror in the middle, and we leave a gap. Why do you want a mirror so bad? You can see yourself other places. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. It's not to see Jesus. me. It's to see who's walking up behind me. I don't like this. We're not doing mirrors. Okay, no mirrors. It'll be frosted glass and backlit. Frosted mirrors? What? Then it's not same, a mirror. Same damn difference. No, it's not. Um, 
Actually, I do want it pretty minimalistic. I uh, found a speakeasy down in downtown McKinney, and uh, it's pretty sweet. And it literally is just shelves, wall to ceiling, and I'm talking 25 foot ceilings. They got the whole ladder thing that goes across to get up there. That was like that place that Justin and I went in uh, Salt Lake. Yeah. Just we've seen that picture of yeah, whole wall of bourbon. Yeah. And it won't be that big. Oh, it's gonna be big, pretty big. Okay, maybe this wall of bourbon. So you know, you make it, you make it look big by making the shelf only big enough for a bottle or two stacked, and then it spreads out. That's what makes it look large. Right. I agree. Okay. Yeah, we gotta incorporate arrows in there somehow. We gotta think about that. What? You put if... frosted arrows on the mirror. No. <laughs> oh, it's turned into a strip club. <laughs> I didn't say anything about a pole. That's not a bad idea. No, I'm thinking countertop is wood, arrows all in it, and then epoxied. I like that look. Yeah. I mean, we just get some, not, not like Maximas or anything, but we can buy 600 cheap arrows for Anytime a Anytime you walk around Cinnamon Creek, just pick up all the arrows that are left That's true, around. broken arrows, yeah. Not a sponsor. Yeah. Could be a sponsor. Yeah, wear their hats enough. Should be a sponsor. Yeah, paid them plenty of money to shoot their zoo. And it wasn't ever set up fully. But that's okay. We're not complaining. Feels like we are complaining. <laughs> Subliminally. I mean, you can read between the lines all you want. I'm just saying. <laughs> Gonna charge thirty-five dollars to shoot a course. You should probably make sure all the fucking targets are there. Yeah. Ain't <sighs> lying. That's why we made our own. It's probably a video you'll see soon. Targets. Targets. Yeah. Well, in the post that I made. You'll, you see the target. Yeah. Just now. Soon. Soon. Tonight. That's pretty Well, not soon. tonight, your time, because it'll take me time to edit this. So, tonight. You're going to make it tonight? You won't see it tonight. He's not going to make Instagram it The Instagram post, yeah. I don't know. It's not going to take me that long. We got a lot of bourbon here. Not, apparently not. Pour yourself another glass. We're going to have to start doing this at my house. <laughs> <laughs> you do have the bourbon. I do have a lot of bourbon. Oh, gosh. So when are you getting these lowers? That's a good question. I will have to ask Will, but pretty soon. Okay. Because I need another project. Mm. Okay. So... I want them, you know, they're lowers for um, what would have been a desk. So they're low, 30 inches, right? Desk. Mm -hmm. okay. What I'd like to do is um, get them up, obviously, to countertop height, 36 inches. And I thought a waterfall edge like what you did on your last project would probably be pretty cool. Yeah. And that would just lift it. And then we could... Uh, David said my last project, my wife runs a furniture and decor company that I work at. And uh, our last project, we built a bunch of desks for a company locally that had waterfall edges on it. So think, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, I think that would look pretty sweet. But that that would be the legs. So it would be a six-inch gap and the waterfall would hold it up. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I don't know about that. Well, I mean, it's going to function just fine, but I don't know how it's going to look. Well, what I was thinking about using for waterfall were some glue lamps. Glue lamps? Yeah. We're so, going to need an army of people to move this cabinet. It's not going to be that bad. We'll put on casters. <laughs> we could do that. Why don't we just buy a snap-on toolbox and throw the bourbon in there? It smells pretty. <laughs> God. Casters. What? Where are we rolling in two? Once it's in place, it's in place. Yeah, but it still look good on our casters. Maybe like some rustic metal ones, not like yeah. red casters. You no, find I've home got home. actually I got lucked into, and I've been holding on to these for poof, since 2013. I've got these. They're about six inch casters, and they're um, they're. I don't want to say billet because they're not a smooth 
polished look, but they're kind of a grayish look. And uh, for whatever reason, Lowe's had them on sale for $12 each. So I bought them. Six inch casters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sweet. that would be pretty cool. They're sweet. We'll figure it out. You'll see it eventually. I screwed up. The beauty of Velcro. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Gotta go get the other one. He's the muscle. I'm the brain. Oh, is that how this works? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I see it differently. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I see you're the drunk one, and I'm both of those things you just said. Well, that's hard to argue with. <laughs> that's hard to argue with. Oh my God. I love this thing, man. Yeah, you did good. You did it good. looks good. And I don't normally like this color of the tray. I think it fits... Uh, it's the style of what we're doing. I don't disagree. It was, it was the right move to go black. Yeah. Yeah. If I'd have thought about it a little... I, I mean, I like how it's recessed, but if I'd have thought about it a little more, I probably could have done all of this and this. That would have been a lot of work. It would have been a lot of work, but I, I do kind of like how it's recessed. I like the texture. Yeah, I agree. I'm ready for this cabinet. Okay. Just find me the lowers. Hey, are you done? Are you done huffing and puffing at the yeah, little I mean, shit dog next door? I'm just spitballing a couple of ideas. I see, obviously, the cabinets are paint grade, so I see some. I swear to God, if you say mirrors. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. A cool cabinet. It needs a top, maybe a mirror top. <laughs> I just told you at the top was going to be broken arrows and epoxy. It's going to look I sexy. I know, but I had to work mirrors in. I, I hadn't used it there yet. Um, Fucking mirrors. <laughs> but I see a, a nice painted cabinet. I'm probably thinking, I'm leaning towards that that green we like for hunting. Yeah, I like that. The, the logo green? Yeah, the know. olive olive drab? Olive drab. Is that what they call it? I think that's what it's called. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But. I think that would look good. That way we could use uh, some stained accent shelves above. Yeah, that would look good. I like that. You know, I've seen it done a few ways where you okay. use uh, piping for the shelf supports. I did that in my last house. You remember? On that wall? Actually, the bar yeah. yeah. With the two by cedars? Yep. Yeah, it looked good. We can do that. Um, we, Jess and I recently went to, um, uh, we did that road trip, you know, from yeah. Montana. Yeah. And, uh, we stopped at Antelope Island in Salt Lake City. And there was a, there was a ranch there that had been there since the dawn of time. I don't remember the year that it's been there, but there's all this cool old stuff. It was a, a, a goat or lamb sheep farm, I think. So they had all the bays set up for shearing and everything. It was pretty cool. But they had a, they had a cabinet in the kit in their kitchen quarters for like the the main rancher, you know the the rip of Yellowstone, if you will. Oh, yeah. By the way, Yellowstone. Sunday. 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 Not a sponsor. Yeah. Should be. Wish <laughs> would die. Anyway, but all their cabinets, the the uh, the cabinet pulls, and this could have been a later addition to make it look cool, were horseshoes. Oh, so cool. the horseshoe was like, if you imagine a horseshoe, and then. Like, this is the U. Don't show me. Show them. Well, I'm show I'm, okay, whatever. <laughs> this is the U. Yeah. And then, like, a middle line this way, the top half was bent, so it made a handle. Ah. So the bottom, like, was mounted. on the back part, would had four screws, and then it was bent over with the U portion that goes to the front of the horse's hoof. That's and cool. And it's the handle. And I was like, that's sick. That would look cool on that. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Hey, baby. What's up? You want to be in the podcast? No? No, I just want some attention. Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, I'm ready for the other stuff. I'm not ready for the end, but I'm ready to see it. It's for the end? Did they say that? Yeah, that's the last season. If you haven't watched Yellowstone, you should watch Yellowstone. It's amazing. Best show ever. Season four premieres on Sunday. Two episodes. So that's nice. Sunday the, what would it be, 7th? And I don't remember what's coming after yeah, it. Yeah, two hours. Two episodes, yeah. you're right, yeah. Um, I don't know the name for sure. Eighteen Is it 1897? I don't know. We could look it up. Yeah, um, but basically they've, uh, they've realized they've ran to the end of the storyline, but they're making a prequel. So it's, but it's, it's not going to have Kevin in it. No, it's John Dutton's dad starting the ranch. So I wonder who's going to play Kevin. Kevin Costner. He's John Dutton in Yellowstone, if you don't know what we're talking about. But I wonder who's going to play. He's going to be a kid, so I don't know. I mean, um, I, I think, I mean, maybe a kid. He could, I yeah. mean, be a teenager, pre I mean, preteen up until, like, taking over the ranch and the duties. He's going to have somebody that's a... Yeah. A Twenty-year-old actor play him. I wonder Eventually, if play him. Yeah, yeah, maybe in the latter seasons. Yeah, yeah. I think George Strait's and is the main no, character. No, it's um. No, who is it? It's not George Strait. Who is it? This is it's the not, country guy. It's he just not, he just got me started on country. It's not George Strait. It's a freaking um. <laughs> God, it's gonna eat up me. His his daughter is a. His daughter is a is a celebrity too, right? Does that help you? No, but he's sitting, he's sitting right there in that chair staring at me, and I can't think of his name. Billy Ray Cyrus. No, it's yeah. not Billy Ray Cyrus. Um, golly, who is it, man? I guess we could Google it. Look it up on your phone. Right. It's bothering me. It's bothering me. Oh, I can't think about this. I mean, I can see him sitting right there, man. Anyway, he's going to be the main character. He's going to be the dad? Yeah, he's John Dunn's dad. Hmm. Um, all right, I'm looking. Hold on. Anyway, that one's going to be good. 1876, I think. 1883. 1883, close enough. 1883. And, uh, yeah, the, it's one that's oh, well, a prequel. I, I didn't know this, but it, it popped up. A uh, new role, Billy Bob Thornton's going to be in it. Ooh, uh, the old I Billy like Bobbers. I like old the old Billy. Bobberts. Yes, the guy who's not. Uh, 1883 cast. There we go. That's what I want. What? This is not what I remember. Um, okay. Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. John Dutton. Gosh. So, John Dutton Sr. His wife's name is. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's who you're thinking about. You're thinking about like a daughter saying like his wife is also a country singer. Uh, Sam Elliott's going to be in it. That's going to be great. Faith Hill. I mean, for as old as she is, she's hot. It's in girl's wife. I know. Yeah. She's hot. Yeah. I bet she's going to be the mom. That she would make is. total sense. She's Margaret Dutton. There you go. Old Margie. Yep. <laughs> Margie. We're hoping, Margie. You said Margaret know. Dutton. I just yeah, named man. her Margie. Could have been Marge. Margie. Marge. Better. And Marge from Simpsons. Isn't that yeah. Marge, yeah. Right? I wasn't a big Simpsons. God, fan. man. We need a fact checker in the corner. I think that's going to cost money. Yeah, we don't have any of that. Before we do that, can we start expensing some bourbon? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think maybe even before we do that, we actually get a company card. Card? Yeah. I don't need to give me. Card? Credit card? Company credit card? Oh, That's well, what yeah, I'm talking okay. about. Okay. No, no, no. I want my Bass Pro points. I'll, I'll give you receipts. No, that's, it'd be the same card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It'd just be knocked up LLC. Okay. Your name on it. And then it, all the points go to the company. And that way when we need to buy feeders and stuff for the company, we buy feeders. <sighs> Why is that a bad idea? Him. What? The company? God, if I didn't love this wood board so much, I'd smash it over your head. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be good. 1883 comes Tim on after McCraw. two episodes of Yellowstone. So I mean, you got a commitment in front it of you. Comes after, like yeah. the, the the hour after. Yes. Because Yellowstone comes on at like nine. No, not this time. 
Let's look. <laughs> I'm a fact checker here. <laughs> I just hired him. <laughs> he gets paid zero dollars an hour. All right, it comes on at night. <laughs> Does it? No. You don't pay me. I'm not gonna look. <laughs> I just really looked it up. Nine Eastern, maybe. All right. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Yellowstone. <laughs> Season four. November 7th, 7 Central. So 7 to 9, and then 9 to 10 is 1876. I need to tell Jess to record that. You're not going to watch it live? What's wrong with you? Well, yeah, but but if I said, I got YouTube TV, so if I set it to record, and I don't watch, like, episode two live, because we'll be hunting, then I can watch it later. Yeah, no, because we won't be hunting, but we will have gotten we'll back in the late. Also not a sponsor. Yeah, should be. You get a lot of our money. Yeah, not as much as I'd like. Agreed. What are you getting done this year? Do you know yet? You go still, the haven't, freezer? still haven't cleaned out the freezer. Jess and I talked about that this weekend. I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a lot of ground now that, um, you know, I've gotten them on board and, you know, I've learned how to actually mm -hmm. process it so that it tastes yeah. to where the layman can enjoy it. Yeah. The kids were never a problem. April likes venison, but she doesn't like the gaming taste of it. And so... Um, oh, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Justin had brought it to my attention. Because I didn't used to do a lot of ground. I used to just process deer a lot myself. And so it would be steaks and chicken fry and back straps and a little bit of sausage. I'd take the shoulders in for sausage. Sausage, they do a good job because they mix in all the fat. Well, it's a German sausage house. Well, even the last place did a really good job with sausage like uh, breakfast sausage uh, and dried sausage uh, gotcha 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 and so i never got a lot of ground and i got some ground and april just wasn't about it and yeah it was a little gamey but it didn't bother me and my boy here was like well do you drain the blood i'm like what are you talking about sure enough came over one day and he had a pound of ground in the colander draining and i'm talking a good two shots worth of blood out of a pound Oh, yeah, it's pretty typical. Yeah. yeah. Shot in half. Since I've done that, thrown in the seasoning I usually throw in, oh, they eat it all day long. It so. takes that, it takes that, the, the, I, dude, I'm going to, I'm going to send really, this bee to the afterlife. Whatever you've got for hair product, he's about. I think it's this. No. He's all about this. Well, I did get my hair did today. Yeah. Anyway, um. Yeah, so it's frozen in the freezer, and when you take it out, like David said, you take it out of the packaging and put it in a colander and just set it in the sink and let it defrost all day, and then at the end of that, or a bowl, it doesn't matter, you'll get all the blood, and the blood is the gaminess, it's the iron you're tasting in the gaminess, so you can make your burger if you got 90-10 uh, lean venison meat and they add 10% pork fat or beef fat into it, and let the blood drain out. I will promise you, no one will be able to tell that it's venison if you got a stubborn someone in your home that just doesn't like venison or thinks they don't like venison. Try that. It's all about the thinking they don't like it. Right. It's in their head. We're also going to have cooking videos Story coming for another out. day. Making cooking videos. Or at least I am. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I'm thinking about it, um, depending on how much time... I've got doing the after the shot stuff. Yeah. Doing some wild game recipes and when you see him cooking, I'll probably be drinking. Yeah, exactly. So, we'll, we may be throwing some of those out, give you our favorite recipes and do some of that. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, I'm going to do ground breakfast sausage. You're empty. I'm out. My wife and I ate three deer. My lovely wife loves venison or any wild game. I'm very blessed. I don't have to worry about going hunting or having the meat because last year I bought no meat other than chicken, which was amazing. All dark meat. Did you was buy any pork? None. Wow. So I'll get ground, breakfast sausage. Um, we're going to do some of the fajita sausage, the lynx. That That's was good, good, real good. Jalapeno yeah. cheddar sausage she liked. Couple. Snack six. I didn't want to pay six bucks a pound for it, man. I don't know if I'm going to eat them that much, you know? They're good for, um, like, hikes and stuff like that. Right. I don't disagree. But, yeah, it's kind of pricey. She wanted salami, um, summer sausage, jalapeno cheddar summer sausage. 
Um, we like the spicy stuff, so we we'll always get the jalapeno cheddar if it's an option, and then steaks for. Of course, I may not get any steaks on the hunt we're about to go on round. I may just do all the processed stuff, and then if we get to go to the outfitter in December, I'll take that deer and turn it into all chicken fried steak roast and maybe some rump roast make some I'll, roasted potatoes yeah i watched a youtube the other night guys separating the muscles on the ham and i've done it before i i never did it as clean as he did it um but it really kind of intrigued me to really think about it some more because i mean while it's not super expensive at Kubi's, i mean it just it adds to the price right to process so if you ham uh, steaks well i mean the ham steaks I mean, it's the processing fee there, right? Either ground or steak. That's the processing fee. But look at it like we have an opportunity that we might be able to... Well, let me back up. So when we go to LJ Blessings, it's a managed ranch. So we're going to we're gonna take home the deer that we're going to take home on his permit. So we still have five tags for Texas, right? Yeah, it's, um, what is it called? MLD. Yeah, Managed, managed Land, Land Development in Texas. Yeah. If you're not familiar with it, it's where... Texas Parks and Wildlife gets to basically manage your land, but you can manage your deer on the land, and then they give you X amount of tags per year that you can give out for people to pay for to come take those animals off the land to keep the deer population healthy and sustainable for years to come. Yeah. Um, that's how Texas works anyway. It works similar to like BLM land in the West, if you're joining us from the West side of the United States. Um, but LJ Blessings is an MLD-sanctioned property so while we have to have a hunting license to get there just like anywhere else we don't have to use our tags yeah. um, because we use the ranch's tags because it's managed by the state yeah. um, which is pretty cool for us which allows us to go other places and use our tags and feed our families that way so yeah. anyway so the outfitter in december they are mld but it's not quite a big of a ranch and if um if we get in there it will be using our tags well if i'm able to to use a few tags there um you know i'd like to i'd like to probably process those myself and if you're looking at using several tags in a weekend i mean you're going to have shoulders to me i mean there's not a ton of meat to shoulders them, so. or sausage meat yeah those prove are, me wrong please if somebody's got something else to do with shoulders let me know but. yeah oh yeah please you know i guess message or however you do that part of the business because that's <laughs> this guy um but yeah shoulders to me are sausage so you know if i end up shooting two or three deer that need to be processed for shoulders then i'd drop those off for some um well i mean if he's got any so <laughs> uh then that's where i'll uh i'll put in a lot of meat but i really like the idea of of uh keeping some roast together this year yeah i agree i think i want to do roast I I really want to try to give ribs another shot, man. The, the, the first two times that I've cooked ribs, I think I got them too hot and I didn't do them right. And it just, there's not a whole lot of meat on them, but I just, I want to try, I really want to try neck shank too. I think I'm going to try shank this year. I'm going to take all the neck meat. I usually don't take the neck meat. It's because, you know, those of you who hunt up north, you guys have some monster body deer. Yeah, they got some triple chins up there. I mean, they 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 do this. They're Goldbergs, right? They got they got all this. See, down in Texas, we've got like T Rex deer. Uh, yeah, they got yeah. they got they got little arms but big antlers. Yeah, yeah. I yeah like but that. up north, they just got they stout just, ass deer. You're feeding your family for a year with a deer. Yeah. Up north, so um, it's like a mule deer. While the ribs, I think, are a lost cause here. I'm gonna try I mean, it. I'm gonna try it. I've seen some Do some experiment cooking I've, this year. I've, I've seen some decent deer at gyms that have had some neck meat to them, but they usually have antlers on them, and he's not buying any. Yeah, so I'm not buying it. it. But if I can shoot a a six point, a five on one side and one on the other, this one was a no, Jim. I promise. You're over there with the hatchet, just, <laughs> just chopping it off, shaving it off. I would never do that to Jim. Oh, a five dumb. point, maybe. I don't know. I, I think the neck shank. I think I'm gonna try to cook it this year. I think I'm gonna crock pot it for five or six hours, roast and potatoes it. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. I mean, See what's up. And the worst no. that can happen is you pull it out and it just doesn't taste worth anything. You have a bowl of cereal. I'm not yeah. gonna die. I mean, Obviously. I've uh, I've cooked stuff I didn't want to eat before. 
Yeah. Oh. How, I you agree. Gonna, how are you going to cook the teal? This is a duck guy yet. over here. So we I just went on a teal yet. hunt. Um, there won't be a video to that. Um, it just wasn't a long enough trip. But there is a YouTube snippet. No, I'm sorry. Not YouTube. Instagram snippet mm -hmm. on my Instagram if you want to check it out. It was a blast. But we just didn't have enough resources to turn it into a whole video. Um, but we did get some teal and um, it was a bunch of fun. The first time I've ever been duck hunting. I've uh, done a lot of dove, so shot birds before. I understand the, understood what was going on, but he's hunted ducks more than I've even thought about hunting ducks, um, which which is a great asset to myself. So um, we're going to do some, hopefully some duck hunting this year. We're going to try to fit it in. We're going to try to fit it in. Yeah, it's going to be rough. This, this fall. But that's the thing, though. Around here, we can just go for a Saturday. It's not oh, a whole yeah. planned yeah. ordeal. Yeah. Like, it won't be a thing. We'll just go duck hunting and put some put some mallards in the freezer and see what we can do about it. But anyway, how are you going to cook the teal? I don't know. I, I, I've looked up a couple different things, but the Internet will tell you all sorts of shit. So. Yeah. I haven't looked into it. Um, I'll tell you how I used to eat a lot of duck. That's chicken fried or... Um, I would wrap it with jalapeno and bacon with cream cheese. Now, I had a recipe that was amazing that a um, not named roommate of mine in college lost. And uh, <laughs> You it, know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> Your name begins and sounds just like my name. It just has a last name that's different. David lives. <laughs> but... um. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was an amazing. What was it? It was a duck gumbo recipe. Okay, so why can't we just make gumbo? And... It wasn't the same though. It just <laughs> wasn't. And I got it from my dad. My dad gave me the recipe. I promise not to lose it. And we can't remember all of the ingredients. Um, it was it was really good. I mean, was it not just gumbo with? No, duck in it? Like, it was more, I mean, we called it duck gumbo, but it wasn't gumbo because there was nothing in it but breasts and the roux that you made, but it was just, it was the roux, it was amazing. Yeah. Um, you had made a comment the other day about a recipe you saw. Yeah, the recipe that intrigues me the most is, is uh, teal empanadas. Yeah, that kind of sounds good. It was cubed teal, we well, seared the teal. To a, you know, mid rare, whatever, and then you cube it, and then put it in a shoot. I think it was jalapeno bacon, sour cream, corn, kind of mixture. I'm I'm talking out of my ass because I don't remember the recipe verbatim, but um, and then you put it in empanadas and fry it up like you would an egg roll, and uh, dip in some jalapeno ranch, and it sounded delicious. Um, it was kind of right up our alley, but I don't. I don't remember. No. I mean, I don't know if that's the one I'm going to try or not. Um, this will actually be my first time to have teal. I've shot a lot of ducks, never a teal. So they say, as far as your taste buds go, it's top notch for uh, for duck. We'll wrap it up. Um, I kind of want to cook it the way I know to cook it so that I have something to compare it to. You know? Yeah. But we didn't shoot very many teal. It was bit of a bust but we'll get a meal out of it oh yeah for sure I'm, I'm uh, just thinking like an empanada or something like that would be good as like an appetizer because really it's kind of the amount of teal that we have is like an appetizer for five or six people you know I mean those breast size you could probably fillet them and do the jalapeno wrap thin. with it yeah but I mean for a jalapeno wrap yeah maybe have a, a handful of appetizers what I'll tell you about duck traditionally is um, if you've ever eaten liver, it's a it's a dark red meat, so yeah. it has that kind of tendency to it. You gonna save the liver this year? Liver and hearts out of gems? I'm saving hearts unless I blow them up. Fuck up. I'm I'm going for the double long so we can keep some hearts. Yeah, I agree. I don't know about the liver. I didn't mind the hearts. I mean, it. it wasn't bad, but I, I'm. We didn't eat the liver. I'm saying I didn't mind yeah. the heart. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying the heart wasn't bad, but... I think we could have done it better. Yeah, I'm hoping we could. I wasn't in my normal kitchen environment. Yeah, I'd like to 
look into a, a different maybe ceviche might as well bring out the deer freaking kool-aid you got <laughs> to go with it uh, all right let's wrap it up all right peace out peace out girl scout Till next time stay knocked out i don't know what we're gonna do for the next whiskey but oh i'll, I'll bring something over yeah it may be next week um definitely when we go to our next hunt but we'll bring something for you guys to review and then we some more nonsense to talk about we may go all out on the next hunt yeah if you guys have anything you want us to talk about because you like it let us know because we can talk about just about anything but till then stay knocked up oh